just driven down a bit of a dirt track which I found on the internet off of somebody's blog. Apparently this spot is called Harry's Rock. It was meant to be a blue ribbon on the tree that the park ranger put up just so you could tell which track it was but we couldn't find that. So anyway we've arrived. I've just evicted a little scorpion out of the car that was actually in my t-shirt which was a bit of fun. Here's the fishing spot. Uh, we'll give it a crack and we're hoping to catch some black brim today. A little bit more about this particular spot. Um, it's called Harry's Rock um, and it's, it feels like it's a muddy hard ground but it probably is rock. If you have a look out there you can see there's a bit of a drop off and that drop off has like crustacean type worms off it, on it and so that looks like a particularly good spot. A bit of a rock bar to fish off. The rig I've got at the moment is a smaller hook. It's probably a little bit large. I suspect the brim in here, it's, um, it doesn't, this water or oh, water course doesn't flow out to sea too often so it's going to be brackish water and I think there may be a lot of smaller ones. So they've got an eight pound trace and up to a single swivel onto the main line. The other rod here, we've got a very small pool sinker. That'll help with the casting. But generally for brim fishing you tend to have a little less weight. You try and keep it fairly light. The bait we're using today, the prawns. So what I generally do is take the heads off and I shell them as well. Now I suspect that should be a good enough bait for today. So you can either use that or the little bit of tail. So I'll use that as the bait. And just for the, if I'm using the tail part I just push it into that piece there and just make sure the barb or the hook is, is out. Beautiful little brim. Nice little one, looks fairly fresh and healthy. We'll put him back. Is he big enough? I reckon he is. Oh, good.
go with the fish tonight, I'm just going to um, knock up a, effectively a stir fries with rice in it. Um, if I do that, it's going to be a little bit smaller. So this is onion, capsicum, mushroom, zucchini, all in uh, equal quantities. So there's enough there for two people and the rice. So I've just pre-cooked some basmati rice. Our preference is basmati, it's just particularly with um, uh, stir-fried rice, it just comes up really, really nice. Apparently it's meant to be better for you too, but yeah, don't believe everything you hear. Um, as a flavouring, just use oyster sauce, simply that, and at the end of it, just squeeze through uh, a lime. So I've got one of these tools, um, just makes life a lot easier. Just cut the lime in half. However, a dessert spoon does just as good a job. The first part is basically just frying the vegetables until they're starting to soften and get brown. Uh, and then we'll add the rice um, and then the oyster sauce and then the lime juice last. So I've added the rice, added a little bit more oil just to make sure that the rice stays apart. The magic ingredient. Seems like a lot, but it's around about a third of a bottle. So I'll we'll just fold that in and keep it moving. And that effectively is it uh, prepared from earlier on. If you run your finger along here, there's actually some very little pin bones, very small pin bones I should say. They finish about here and you can feel where they finish. And these fillets here, we're, unfortunately we're going to lose that little bit there, but want bone free fillets. So I'll just take them out. So, yeah, it's, uh, you lose a little bit of meat, but that takes all those pin bones out of it. So, just, you can actually feel them, so that's all good. So we'll do that to the rest of them. So that's effectively our fillets prepared. So they're ready to go into the pan. So what I'm going to now make is just, um, it's almost like a sauce, but in effect, um, we'll just cook some garlic uh, and some lemon juice and we reduce the lemon juice in some butter uh, and as soon as it starts to reduce and make a like a thicker sauce we drop the fish fillets in because they're very thin nice and thin fillets it will cook very quickly and we should be right prepare the sauce I've used the juice of a whole lemon um, I've had to pull the pips out but that's all good there's probably a good splash, maybe a dessert spoon of um, olive oil and a big heaped lump of butter and a heaped teaspoon of crushed garlic. So I just use the crushed garlic. Now I'll just cook that and reduce it and then I'll drop the fish into it. Okay, so I've started to heat it. Um, as you can see, the first thing that happens is the lemon juice starts to boil and then it will make quite a juicy concoction, but um, I'll cook this for a little bit longer. So that's reduced, you can see it's thickened up, it's made like a nice little sauce, some good content of oil in there, so it's not going to stick, so I'll just put the fish straight into that.
grill has been turned on high, so I'm now just going to drop it to low. And what I'm really looking for is for the meat to basically cook halfway through the fillet, which is just about now. So we'll just flip them over. And the meat's still holding together quite nicely. So I'll do that for about another minute and then we'll serve them up. A minute later, it's uh, ready to serve. So brim caught only a few hours ago. Gonna go onto the plates. That's with our vegetable fried rice, which by the way, can go with a variety of meals. So that's tonight's meal. So that's our fresh cooked fish with a, a lemon and garlic sauce, uh, vegetable fried rice, and as a side we've got some calamari baked into almost squid rings. Uh, that fish will go quite nicely with a salad or a fresh salad or it can go with chips or whatever, so it's very versatile.